This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, we do encourage you to like and share them on Facebook. And if you find them on YouTube under WPSL TV, hit that subscribe button too. It's time for Joanne's World of Nutrition, brought to you by Nutrition World and hosted by Joanne Seeger. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone's having an amazing morning here locally. I'm just so glad I didn't have to go through the rain to get into the station. <laughs> There's so much rain. Um, but on a positive note, we have an amazing guest, but I do want to just make one quick announcement. This Saturday at the arts, formerly known as the Arcade Building, now known as Kraz Square, is the grand opening for the new owner and the building. So we're going to have lots of raffles, lots of prizes, giveaways, um, refreshments, music, some local artists there. So definitely come by the new Kraz Square, formerly known as the Arcade Building, right across from Fort Pierce City Hall. I'll be there. We'll have um, lots of great giveaways, okay? So definitely don't want to miss it. 11 to 4 this Saturday. All right, so enough announcements. All right, so everyone keep breathing. Do the breathing exercise on your own. As you guys know, when I have amazing guests, I don't want to miss a minute of their time. So without further ado, good morning, Bert. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Joanne? Just trying to catch my breath. A little rush rush this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. AC the AC at my house broke, so my husband had to stay there instead of covering for me at the store like he usually does. So, but I'm used to this. Just you know, deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> so, how are you doing this morning? I was doing the same thing. I thought, okay, it's time to do my deep breath. Time to do my deep breathing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. A... It's day by day, isn't it? It's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of crazy things. Uh, we're heading, uh, in a few hours from now, we're heading up to our youngest daughter's wedding, and I always feel a little bit uh, badly. We've had two daughters get married this year, and of course, you know, it's not a normal year in which to have a, a wedding. It's, uh, you know, you may be thinking about something your whole life, and then uh, everything changes on you. That is definitely true. And so um, now you have like uh, 80 kids or something like that, right? <laughs> Wasn't it like at least 80? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have we have ten children, so <laughs> it is kind of a, a unique feeling when the the youngest one is uh, getting married. So right, well, anyway, congratulations! I'm oh, sure it's going to be a wonderful time, and I'm glad you can celebrate with the family. Well, I love having you on, um, but I'm hoping there might be some newbies listening. So could you just take the first couple minutes of the show and tell everyone who is Bird and what you're all about? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, um, my, my name is Bert Golding, and besides being uh, the president of Positive Power Nutrition, where we make all kinds of very unique uh, supplements, I'm also the managing director of the Positive Nutrition Institute, where we do a lot of training, a lot of classes for practitioners and for the public. I'm a clinical nutritionist, been practicing in that capacity, seeing people on a clinical basis for about uh, 15 years now. I've worked with over 5,000 doctors, patients that are referred to me, and I still get phone calls every week with people being referred, and I'm just uh, excited to help people balance their health naturally, and that's, at least in my view, that's what uh, good health is all about, is being balanced, balanced in your pH, balanced in your hydration, uh, balanced in your uh, minerals and hormones and energy, so that's, that's what I do. And that's why I love having you on my show. So welcome back. And I thought today um, we might just uh, dial it back a bit and just like you mentioned, talk about the basics for the first half of the show, like really getting into, you know, why your mission of hydration and minerals and alkalinity, alkalinity that to me applies no matter the situation of anyone's health it can apply to all, young and old and healthy or not healthy. Um, so how does that sound to you? Yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. Well, I think um, unless you want to go a different course, alkalinity is still a mystery to some. So do you want to start there? Yes. Yeah. Um, pH 
pH balance it has to do with the fact that it's that you want the um, good acids in your body to be balanced out by by the good uh, alkaloids or, or alkalinity. So that means that your body has good acids that are are concentrated in your vital organs and in the muscles because all the muscles and vital organs are composed of protein and protein is composed of amino acids. So you want to have, um, you do not want to lose the acidity in the muscles and in the vital organs. That's where it's supposed to be. Now to balance that out in our bodies, when a person's healthy, all of the clear fluids, which make up over half of our body weight, need to be just slightly alkaline. So we're not talking extremes here. We're talking about having uh, all of the clear fluids, which we would measure on a weekly basis on a fasting saliva test. And fasting always makes people feel like, oh, I can't eat anything for like 10 hours. And <laughs> that's not what we're saying. It needs to be at least three hours since your last food or beverage. But with um, a saliva test where you put the saliva in a spoon, uh, preferably a, like a plastic picnic spoon, and uh, then you put in a laboratory-grade test strip and you uh, kind of move that around in a half spoonful or more of saliva. After about 20 seconds, you're going to get a color that you can match to a chart and you get a reading. And you just want it to be slightly alkaline, 7.1 to 7.5. Now, anything below 7 is in the acid range. You do not want the clear fluids of your body to be in an acid range because then the whole body is acidic and there's no balance. Okay, so now the strips um, that you sell, um, those are what you recommend. And you just saying just on a weekly basis to get an average of how your body's doing? Yes, just once a week. It's, it's really important not to, not to push it. I mean, uh, if, if we, you know, like all of us, we become impatient. But if we become impatient and we start testing every day or multiple times a day, all that's going to do is keep us in the acidic range because that creates anxiety. Anxiety leads to the kind of stress that increases the levels of bad acids in the body. So just once a week, you get a snapshot. Uh, I've been doing that our whole family. I mean, when all the children were at home, we uh, reached a point where for about nine months, every member of the family was pH balanced, and we would test once a week, you know, everyone. That's my so wife cool. And I still, <laughs> my wife and I still test uh, um, every week on Sunday morning. It's easy to remember. And in 15 years since I first got pH balanced, I've only had two weekly tests where I've been out of range in the last 15 years. Were you really stressed out that week? (laughs) I I don't know, but, you know, it makes you stop and think, okay, what have I done differently? You know, have I uh, started eating something differently? Am I, you know, has my lifestyle changed? It's, It's just important to do that. Now, once you've been in the healing range of 7.1 to 7.5, which uh, really takes um, it takes so much stress off the body, a, a different kind of stress where, where the body is uh, suffering from a, an acidic stress. But once you're in that range for, uh, say, 13 weeks in a row, that's three months, then um, a person only needs to test once a month. For, so they are reached a point where with our entire family, we were only testing on the first Sunday of the month for that snapshot. But as soon as a person was out of range on that monthly snapshot, they needed to go back to testing weekly so that they could find out, okay, again, what have I changed? I'll never forget the time when uh, two of my young daughters um, were just, you know, they'd been in balanced range for over six months continuously. They were testing monthly, and both of them were about 6.75, 6.8, so they were in the acidic range for the first time. And so I kind of looked at their, their test strip and, and uh, I had this funny look on my face, and they interpreted that I was uh, upset or not not happy that way. Instead, I was just like, oh, I haven't seen the, these uh, these colors in the acid range in so long. So the, the youngest of the two daughters that had this uh, immediately said, oh, wait, i got to tell you something. <laughs> you know, um, our family had voted that uh, we were going to reduce our sugar consumption and only have, like, uh, sugary things or ice cream wherever once a week. You know, and it was a unanimous vote, but when you're young, you kind of go along with everybody. So uh, this daughter said, you know, I've been getting up around midnight when everybody's asleep. I go downstairs, and I have hot fudge over ice cream. Really? Wow, and that I, sneaky thing. Oh. And, and But it got picked up on the pH. Yes. 
it was picked up in a pinch because she was doing it like five or six days a week. And as soon as she said that, the other daughter said, well, so have I. And then they oh looked at each other and said, well, I've never run into you. I've never run into you. So they got up at different times. They both had this idea. Oh, my so, you gosh. Know, the, the first thing we were saying is, you know, just you don't have to sneak around and do it. You know, if you want to change your vote, you can you can do that. If not, they just go to a friend's house and have sugary dessert. So it's mm-hmm. better just to at least have some idea and they needed to go back to testing weekly on their ph wow that's so it's so true because and i love how you put it because one way or another if they're going to have it especially as a child they're going to find a way whether school or friends or somewhere um but so now bert so say um they get the strips and i love the strips you sell they're nice and stable easy to use um and affordable so they get your uh, ph strips they test like you said in the plastic spoon three hours fasting i love the idea of sunday morning you know uh we love like after church that's when we eat our first big meal so that way there's lots of time um to mm-hmm. have that three hours so now um, so say they get like your daughters, but they're not as aware like your family. Obviously, you're in the nutrition field, so there's more awareness. So this ordinary family, they're all testing in the yellow zone or the acid zone. Um, where would they start as far as, you know, if they're not sneaking some hot fudge Sunday at midnight? Like what, what would be your advice to that family that they're all, you know, not in that good range? Um, well, there's a three-step protocol, and I know you've seen our, our pH balancing guide, um, which sells for $2. It's a 1,000 pages of information on pH balancing and how to get there and stay there. And uh, it's a 1,000 pages of information condensed down into four easy-to-read pages. So it's only $2. It's the most published pH balancing guide now um, in the world, as far as we can tell. It's 1.8 million copies have gone out. That's and impressive, that, Burke. Can they get that online? Um, yes, if they go to the website, they can order that. It's two dollars plus postage. Um, you know, it's an and it's an interesting thing because the three-step protocol, and I'll share that with people right now. Okay. The first step is to test weekly. Now, if if you're doing it first thing in the morning, you don't have to worry whether you've been chewing gum or had a breath mint or anything that could could uh, cause you to have to wait an hour to three hours. So, before you brush your teeth, when you wait. Right after you wake up, before you brush your teeth, before you eat or drink anything, just go ahead and uh, start salivating. Just talking about it causes the saliva in my mouth to start going right now. <laughs> and, and then you drill that saliva into a spoon. You test it once a week. And um, where you would do then is the second step is to find an effective supplement if you want to pH, uh, want to get your uh, pH into the balanced range or the slightly alkaline, alkaline range quickly. And the supplement that we found that works the best is cell power. Now, cell power, you put four drops in a glass or a water bottle of 16 ounces or more purified or distilled water. You can do that uh, for adults up to six times a day. Um, That's the second step. Now, you don't have to have any supplement to get pH balanced if you're really, really patient and you want to wait 18 to 24 months. You can do it just through lifestyle changes. But most people would like to get there a lot faster than, you know, a year and a half to two years. So that's the second step. The third step is to make some lifestyle changes. And so the, uh, the third step that's outlined in the guide is how to avoid the seven highly acid-forming substances that uh, really are what keep people trapped in the acidic range. It's not that difficult. It's not like a thousand different foods you have to worry about. It's just how to continue getting the good acids like uh, um, fresh squeezed lemon juice or, or fresh uh, citrus juice of any kind, um, how to uh, avoid the uh, seven substances. And one of those, maybe some people wouldn't consider a, a substance, but uh, you know, we can go through that if you want to today. Or I would love to. Um, do we, we? Yeah, I think we have time. Let's go for it. Okay. Uh, the most acidifying um, thing uh, is the coffee bean um, on a... Uh, a scale of, of acidifying the body, not a pH scale, but on a, a scale of, of how much damage certain uh, substances can do as to our pH balance, on a scale of 1 to 10, the coffee bean would be a 10. doesn't matter if it's decaf or caffeinated. Um, each coffee bean has over um, 208 different acids in the coffee bean. So no matter how it's processed, you still end up with some of those acids. And none of those are in the... Uh, the compatible range with the human body. So it kind of throws the body off. 
Okay. You can see why, why as a country we have um, 95% of the population is in the acidic range and just right. kind of inflamed all the time. Yeah, I see those lines for Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, but I'm guilty of coffee and I'm kind of crying inside right now. So let's well, quickly it, move it, on to number two before yeah, I really cry. <laughs> number, num, number two is um, tobacco in any form. Uh, that's why, why it causes cancer is it throws the pH out of balance in a major way. So, uh, smoking, people know, will eventually lead to, to lung cancer of some kind, but uh, there's you know, chewing tobacco will lead to cancer a lot faster. Sometimes people will have uh, cancer of the throat or of the tongue or of the mouth in just a year or two. And it's because, the uh, again, the acids found in tobacco are just not meant for the human body. That, that would be like an 8 or a 9 on that uh, power of 10 scale of, of uh, bad acids. Okay, so, Next Bert, I want to mention one quick thing. So a lot of my health food hippie friends say, oh, well, I'm chewing the natural tobacco, like I'm getting it loose, um, native tobacco. So does that matter at all to this um, to the pH conversation? No, not, not for the pH. It's, it's very, very um, acidic, very acid-forming. That's why it... It uh, damages the teeth and colors the teeth. I mean, chewing tobacco is, again, one of the fastest ways to get cancer. I always tell people, if you really want to get cancer, don't don't smoke the tobacco. Just just chew it. I mean, that'll get it really fast. Oh, gosh. And, okay. Uh, I'm glad we clarified that. Yeah, because when you're out of pH balance, that's where the cells can mutate into a cancer state. Um, the, the third of the seven substances would be alcohol in any form. Um you know, we've been told that a uh, little red wine with dinner is good for our digestion, and uh, that's just a, the opposite of what the truth is. When I was going yeah. through my master's levels classes uh, at um, American Health Science University, that was one of the current event things that we had to study was the fact that, you know, the wine industry was trying to push that it would help you digest your food. And as soon as you have any kind of alcohol, all digestion stops completely. Yeah. So that leads to a lot of undigested food in your in your uh, digestive tract, and it can lead to uh, you know leaky gut syndrome and all kinds of food allergies and everything else. But that that's a pH balancing problem of about seven or eight on that scale of ten. After that, you would have uh, black tea or white or earl grey tea. Any kind of tea that has tannic acid in it is also a very but it, it's a five on the scale. That means it takes two cups of tea with tannic acid to do the damage of one cup of coffee. Uh, then, um, so that's number four. The fifth one has to do with uh, carbonated beverages. So as soon as it, something's artificially carbonated where you push carbon dioxide into it and then cap it so that the bubbles don't go away or, or leave, you've created what scientists call carbonic acids. You're drinking 100% carbonic acid Again, the body can't really deal with that. It tries, but it just overwhelms the body. So that's number five. Number six is sugar, like table sugar, which uh, is just filled with heavy metals. So if you're getting the regular, you know, white sugar for baking or something, you want to get something that is that is not like that. The fake sugars, like the sucralose and the aspartame and all those, extremely acid forming. Um, so that's number six. And then number seven is the only one that's that's worse than a coffee bean. Uh, some people don't call it a substance, but I feel like it is. It's bottled up unresolved stress. Love and that it. is yeah. probably a, a 20 to a 25 on that scale of 10. It, it's just off the chart. So when every time I come on your show and you talk about <laughs> doing the deep breathing exercises in the morning and doing that with your listeners, I always think, oh, that is one of the best pH balancing things mm -hmm. you can do. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I feel silly for, you know, for so many years doing it every, you know, radio show, but I still feel like people overlook breathing because how could it be that important? It's accessible to all. It's free, you know, but it's so critical. I mean, even a few deep breaths make me feel so much better if I feel stressed or anxious. And, so. and you'll be able to measure that if, if people have the, the pH balancing uh, strips, the, the test strips. If you are testing and say you're at a 6.5, which is doesn't sound that acidic, you know, you're saying, well, I'm just below 7, but it really is. By the time you're at 6.25, you're 10 times as acidic as you should be. That means you have as much acid in your body as 10 healthy people. Wow. So if, if you tested that and then you do a good five minutes of, 
of uh, deep breathing exercises and you know clearing your mind and meditating you can test um, again and say you know right after you finish your deep breathing and you'll see that your pH has improved that's amazing well so I might be guilty of a few of those things on the list, just a few. And I know that right now, maybe some of us that normally do better are making some different choices and feeling a little worse because of it. So they listen, they test their pH. It's, you know, um, too much on the acid side. And then they, they buy your cell power because they're not willing to wait that 18 months or longer. Um, if they are diligent about it and do follow the recommend on the bottle, how long do you think the average person say, you know, you know, just maybe someone that's like 6.7 ish, um, can see differences. We get asked this on a daily basis. Well, when will I see the change? (laughs) Well, you know, and and I don't even have to guess on that one because I've worked with over a thousand, um, clinical, uh, clients and patients directly. And so what we're seeing is that 998 out of 1,000 people that do this three-step protocol will get pH balanced within four to 10 weeks. Oh, now that's they're, they're, really fast. That's awesome. Yeah, there are a few exceptions. Some people have done it as, as soon as t- uh, 10 days, but that's not the rule. At four to 10 weeks, you need to allow yourself. Now, if you hit the 10-week mark and you're still not pH balanced and you're fi- following that protocol, um, it's uh, on that guide, the, the $2 pH balancing guide. Um, you know, step two involves cell power because it, it will help you balance your pH whether you're too high, which it's rare, but about one out of 100 people are too alkaline. And so the, uh, the cell power in their water will help them come down from, say, 8 into that 7.1 to 7.5 range, slightly alkaline, so become less alkaline in the same four to ten weeks as whereas most people would have to come up from acidity and if you're like at five or 5.25 which is where i started you know that can be a little scary because that's a hundred times the acidity that you're supposed to have in your in the clear fluids of your body but you can still get there in four to ten weeks yeah and i say this every time you're on my show but so many people say well joanne how do I know what's happening with my health? And I'm like, this is a clear picture. This is something that's affordable that you can test and, you know, do right at your home without, you know, scary visits or expensive blood tests. So it's definitely a great start. So Bert, we're going to take a really quick break and we'll be right back. You're listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition. We will be right back. This is Joanne from Nutrition World. Just letting all of my listeners know we have been diligent in sanitizing the store and using every precaution possible to keep our customers safe. Check out my online store at joannesnutritionworld.com. Really great deals and free shipping over $50. I am really hoping that all my listeners are taking time right now to get fresh air, to get exercise into their daily routine, keep hydrated, and get the proper amount of sleep. It's critical right now that attitude is everything. To please take time to laugh, to give yourself a break. You can find Nutrition World right on US 1 in Fort Pierce across from Fort Pierce City Hall in between Orange Avenue and Avenue A. Our phone number is 772-464-3598. Call me with any questions or concerns. All my best, Joanne. Joanne's Nutrition World, now open from 11 to 3, Monday through Saturday. Call 464-3598. Hey, it's Dr. Ravi at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We are dedicated to serving you and your family with integrity, compassion, and innovative care through the most advanced chiropractic care ever in chiropractic history, encouraging your health and your family's health to its maximum potential on a regular basis. Call us today at 772-345-0060 or schedule online at traditionhealth.com for your free consultation. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. 
We now return to Joanne's World of Nutrition with Joanne Seeger. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This morning's guest is Burke Goulding from Positive Power Nutrition, clinical nutritionist and as an active practice to helping people every day. Um, so everything he speaks about, he's definitely used in uh, this everyday world. <laughs> so Bert, I just realized um, I have a bunch of questions that I have about your products that we love at the store and my customers love. So I definitely want to make sure we cover those questions. So let's start with the cell power questions, okay? Because you were just talking about using that to help the body get more alkaline, which of course brings better health. You cool with that? Yes. Okay. Just don't want to forget about a couple of them. So with the cell power label, it suggests one to six times a day. And then it says at the six times a day for energy. So a lot of my customers are obsessed with energy. Some people not even really about their health. They just want energy, energy, energy. And then they want things to sleep, which I find ironic. So um, can you help us um, understand how cell power is so amazing, helps bring alkalinity, but it can also be used for energy? Well, yes. And for those people that, that want both the energy and to be able to sleep better, this is the perfect product. It used to be that people would say, oh, yeah, I, I've been taking this cell power and I just have so much extra energy in the evening that I go home and clean the house on a weeknight and things that you normally wouldn't do. And then I have all this extra energy. Well, it's a cellular energy. You're not going to feel it like a, an, an adrenal energy at all. What it is is it's a... Uh, it's every cell being energized so that the cell membrane can open uh, to receive the nutrients and the oxygen and the water and the fuel and the messenger hormones and the things that need to go into the cell. And then um, to be able to get out all of the, the waste products and, and uh, the poisons and things out of the cells. Now, just starting uh, probably three or four years ago, we had more phone calls per year on people saying, you know, the thing I've noticed the most when I take cell power um, and they, they were doing it four or five or six servings a day. And as they said, I just sleep better at night. Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that people feel like you can't go to sleep unless you're exhausted, but it's actually the opposite. If you want to sleep, your energy level has to be high enough to allow you to sleep. That's why when people say, oh, well, when I drink coffee, I have too much energy and I can't go to sleep. So, you know, don't have any coffee right before bedtime. No, when you're drinking coffee, it reduces the energy to a level where your body doesn't feel comfortable to sleep. Yes, you have this uh, adrenal rush or, or this buzz going on, but, but that's not what's preventing the sleep. If a person takes a, a sleeping pill, they're not really sleeping. All they are is knocked out. It would be like somebody hitting them over the head with a club. And then, you know, you're unconscious. You don't wake up the next morning and say, oh, that was such a great night's sleep. <laughs> true. It, it's true. not. And so you don't want something that makes you unconscious. You want to be able to sleep and having the right amount of energy. So that's why, I mean, just go out in your swim, your swimsuit, lie out in the sun on a, a, a chase lounge or something, and see if that doesn't cause you to, to go right into a nap. You know, for most people, they go out and they lie in the sun, they close their eyes, and they're going to go right to sleep. Why? Because the sun hitting their skin energizes them, and so their cells have more energy, and that's what cell power is. Cell power as a liquid is energized in sunlight. Um, it takes seven to nine months to make one batch of cell power, and uh, anywhere from one to 90 days is with it being energized by the, the sunshine here in Southern California. And the reason it can hold on to the solar electrical energy is that it, it's made of dissolved fruits and vegetables and vegetable protein. So you have a liquid uh, consumable battery cell is what it is, and that's why it's called cell power. That is so, so cool. So for people that want more energy for their body to be able to function properly and still want to be able to sleep really, really well at night, the other thing is that since cell power helps with oxygenation, I think everyone knows that if you're getting the proper amount of oxygen, you sleep better. For people dealing with uh, what's called sleep apnea, um, it's, it's this lack of oxygen. And for most of those, it's because they have, uh, everybody says, well, if I have sleep apnea and I'm on a CPAP machine to assist me at night, it's because 
um, you know, they're a mouth breather. Well, the reason they're a mouth breather is that normally they have clogged sinuses. Sometimes the sinuses have been clogged for six months or a year, year and a half. If it goes past a year and a half, it's really serious because um, if you can't breathe through the nose at all for more than 18 months, that can very easily lead to multiple myeloma, which is considered to be a blood cancer. It's not really a cancer, but that's, that's uh, what they, they call it so that they can use uh, chemotherapy to help people uh, break up the mucus in, in the blood. And then finally, the, the uh, sinuses clear up and you're able to breathe again. But cell power helps with oxygenation. So that, again, helps with sleep. Okay, Bert, my jaw is on the ground right now because you literally led me to my second question almost word for word. <laughs> so for mouth breathers, um, the, the question is, can they use the cell power in their neti pots? Or their, you know, there's all these new fancy machines that help um, you know, irrigate the nose. Can they put the cell power in that amount of water? Because normally it says 16 ounces of water. Um, can you do that in a little neti pot, which I think is only like three or four ounces of water in those machines? Well, doctors can. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't tell the average person to, to experiment unless, you know, unless gotcha. they have somebody helping them do it right. I mean, I have, there, there are medical doctors, MDs across the country that use cell power, and if they're licensed by their individual state where they practice, if they're licensed to use dietary supplements as treatments, which several of the ones I work with are licensed for that, then yes, they've found ways to use it with uh, to help people get completely over their sleep apnea in four weeks. And wow. so they they do things that only doctors can do. So yeah, I, don't, I don't encourage people. Okay, yeah. to do it on their own. Yeah, I hear more and more people um, having, you know, COPD and sleep apnea and, and all these breathing devices. And it's just every day, um, more and more cases. All right, so that was the um, next question. And then the other one was there are people, um, you know, you and I love water, and your product tastes wonderful in water. It's just like this little lime overtone um, or undertone, actually. So for people not like us that just really have a hard time drinking water, can um, it be mixed in any beverage, or what's the ones that you definitely say definitely not? Um, well, you would never put the cell power drops in coffee or tea, and, and you'd be surprised how many people try to do that. Uh, in juice, you're going to lose 80% of what you're paying for, so it's not a very good economical thing to put it in juice. Uh, what it is is that to activate the little drops, the reason you only need four little drops in a big, tall glass of 16 ounces of purified or distilled water is that it to activate the cell power, it needs to be mixed with hydrogen and oxygen. The only safe way to mix it with hydrogen and oxygen is using H2O. So if it's reverse osmosis, which is purified, that's great. Um, that's 99.9% .9 pure water. If it's distilled, it's 99.99%, .99%, so it's four nines, and it's, it's even more pure. So you want just hydrogen and oxygen. Now, when it comes to the super silica, People will put that in their smoothies or in their juice, and they'll still get the silica. But again, it's not going to be as powerful or as advantageous as putting it in just plain water. And like you say, it is a very pleasant taste. Yep. And although it tastes like uh, lemon or lime, it has no lime or lemon in it. So what you're actually tasting is that's the taste of electricity. What it does is the electricity... Um, is interpreted by the taste buds on your tongue as a citrus taste. That is so cool, Bert. You've never mentioned that before. That is really cool. Like the taste of electricity. Yeah. I love that. Oh. Well, it, it, I mean, literally, I, I was over uh, training some pharmacists in Dubai in the Middle East, and uh, I used to say, okay, when you put the drops in the water, doesn't it taste like citrus? And they go, no, not really. So in the U.S., yes, everybody says that's a citrus taste. But over there, they said, no. And finally, one of them said, I can tell you what it tastes like. When I was a little boy, I took a 9-volt battery and I stuck <laughs> it on my tongue to see if the battery was still working. He goes, wow. that's the taste. That's the taste. And everybody there said, yeah, that's the taste. Almost everybody had done that. It's just like, you know, most people, when they were little, they played with the little balls of mercury that come out of a thermometer by rolling around on the table. And, and not that you should ever do that, but we all did that growing up. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we were a little crazy back then. Well, I guess <laughs> every generation has their crazies. Well, Bert, you brought up Super Silica, so we must um, tell the listeners. So now I will tell you what the question for Super Silica is. So now I'm carrying the cell power in the spray and the Super Silica in the spray. So some of my customers are like, well, I have both at home now. I have the liquid Super Silica drops, and then I have the spray. If I use the spray all over my body, do I still ingest the same amount of drops in my water? It, it really depends on, on what kind of silica deficiencies they're experiencing. In other words, if you don't have hardly any of the 11 um, levels of silica deficiency, then you may be able to reduce the amount of drops in your water if you're using the spray all over your body. It really depends on need. Um, what we have is that um, silica in uh, foods uh, is not enough to recover from very, very deep deficiency problems in the body. Uh, but the foods that have high levels of silica would uh, be, number one, would be brown rice. And people say, I love brown rice. I eat it all the time. And I said, well, do you eat it seven days a week? And you go, oh, no, no, heavens no. I never, I never have it every day. And I said, well, then you're probably silica deficient. So how do you know? Out of the 11 levels of silica deficiency, if you have uh, damaged hair, skin, and nails, that's most of the population because that's the first level, the first sign that you're missing silica. That's, that's level minus one. By the time you get down to level minus five, uh, you're, you've already gone past the, uh, you know, uh, it's at minus two, you've got uh, um, wrinkled and, and saggy skin. You hold your arms out to the side and the skin just droops. It's no longer being held by collagen to the, uh, the muscles. That's, uh, that's a silica deficiency, minus two. By the time you get down to minus five, people are noticing uh, spider veins and varicose veins. Um, by the time you get to, to minus uh, seven, people are seeing uh, short-term memory loss or bipolar disorder. It's, it's where the brain has lost some of its silica because the body will borrow from wherever it can in order to have silica available to protect us from toxins. So back to your question, Joanne, if, if a person is using it topically, they may be able to cut down, but not if they still are seeing those types of things. For people that have okay. uh, varicose veins, a lot of times they'll use the topical spray, which is under a cosmetic label and under that uh, group of laws, and it's, it helps with the appearance of unsightly veins. So they'll be spraying that on the legs or wherever they need to and then taking the drops, which are a dietary supplement in their water, and they'll do both of those. Okay. But you can, re you can reach a point where you can reduce. And the next question for Super Silica is that I've noticed it with my parents as they got older as well, and um, the, when the skin and now collagen's promoting um, all the collagen products are saying, oh, take this to help this. It's the thinning of the skin where they're bruising really easily, and so you basically... You know, they feel like they just knock their doorway and they're getting this, these large bruises. Um, any thoughts on your products for that? Yes, definitely. Super silica is very, very important, um, you know, for, for basically thin skin, which is what you're talking about, or for the thin wall of veins or arteries. Uh, it's, it, it would be a lack of silica. Now, the reason that super silica is... Um, so powerful and so popular is that it not only has the tiniest particles of silica that you can imagine, it's down in the angstrom measurement of the size of the particles, but it has a slight positive charge, which means that it's actually pulled into the cells. The inside of a healthy cell has a negative charge, and as opposites attract, if you have a positively charged silica particle, it's not just going to get a few uh, particles into your cells, it's actually going to be pulled into the cell. So for thin skin, that's an excellent thing. Uh, I take the super silica spray and I spray it on my scalp every morning and rub it in. Uh, that's just part of my morning routine. Oh, now. that's right. I you use... were telling me that. Yep, that's awesome. Yeah. And I've been doing the cell power, so has my husband, um, the cell power spray as deodorant now since the last time you were on the show. And Bert, it is amazing. I and I'm in menopause, and and a lot of things are happening to my body that I can't really explain. Right? Well, I can explain, but I'm not happy with them. But holy moly, it's like it's incredible. 
it's yeah, how that really works and it's so easy yeah. it's so easy yeah sometimes well, it, I, I look like a bird because after i spray i just quickly yeah. press it down so nothing drips down yeah, but yeah yeah and i don't have to yeah. worry about white stains on any of my clothes so yeah, yeah. yeah love it so thank you for that tip i've told uh, everyone um okay you, you, so. just, you just made my day when, when you say that you've been trying it for that long and that you i just that's why i tell people just try it just experiment just see if it works for you if it doesn't you know that's okay but i i just thank you so much for telling me yeah, that and so. what peace of mind that not only am i not putting any toxic substance under my armpit which is such a big lymph site but i'm also putting something healthy and adding to my body that i mean my mind makes me feel so happy but i'm not i I really want to emphasize and you know and i know you have a practice so you know but when, when menopausal women you know our odor does change and it's like sometimes a little shocking because i really wasn't a big deodorant person but once I got into my 50s and menopause, I was like, whoa, what is happening? So it really, really does work. Well, um, well there, there's a reason for that. And I, maybe, maybe I can talk to you later about it. I don't know that we want to talk about it on the show. But there's, there's a reason that, that a person would need to use deodorant more when they're in menopause. It's that the menopausal symptoms have to do with the accumulation of heavy metals over time. So it's not just... Uh, the cessation of, of a cycle. It's the fact that um, there, there were countries, um, two or three countries uh, on the, in our world that really didn't have any menopausal symptoms with women until they started getting pollution. So when you get heavy metals and a lot of uh, environmental toxins that are built up in a body, then with the cell power as an underarm deodorant, the cell power spray, that is going to allow those poisons to come out better. And then if you're doing the super silica, in your water, you're going to be getting rid of those poisons. And yes, they have a terrible smell. And so that's, that's what you'll notice. Wow. If, if, when all the poisons are gone, all of the menopause symptoms disappear. You know, it's, it's crazy because I do believe in that. Like at our home, we have an infrared sauna. We do ion foot cleanse. We do take your super silicon thing. And I am feeling a lot better. Um, but, you know, I sometimes make really bad choices like those top seven lists that you said to <laughs> avoid. Um, but this is another personal question. So we have super silica at home. My 17-year-old son, unfortunately, uh, fractured his ankle pretty badly. Um, so he's going to be in a cast um, for about nine nine to 10 weeks. And I was considering giving him more. um, But sometimes like, and even when you've been on the show, more necessarily isn't better. um, But what what would be your suggestion? He's a very lean 17 year old. So you know, um, you know, he's tall, but like just super thin. Yeah. For healing broken bones, there's really nothing that works. uh, as well as, as super silica. I mean, we've had, uh, I had a friend whose, whose daughter was uh, out on the playground a couple of years ago and, you know, doing things on the monkey bars and ended up breaking both uh, forearms, oh. her bones in both of her forearms. So she oh, was, no. in, you know, totally helpless, two, two casts on her arms. And what happened is they did the super silica for her age. Of course, it's only um, two drops for every year of age. So I think she was like eight years old at the time. So they were doing 16 drops a day of the super silica. And the doctor was just amazed. He said, you know, it's going to take, the, the, the break's really bad. It's going to take six to eight weeks for her to get out of the cast. When they went back, she was completely healed at less than five weeks. And he says, I've never seen this before. Oh, that's incredible. And it was just providing the silica that the body needs. So for your son, I would say definitely, I mean, there's no upper limit on silica, yes, for cell power, you don't want to overdo it. But for silica, um, you know, people that have uh, low bone density and they want the calcium to go back into their bones to rebuild their bones, silica is critical. And so you can do, you know, to see any good results, it would be four servings of super silica a day for an adult. Okay. And I would say at, at uh, a tall 17-year-old, you would consider that an adult um, dosage. But you can go much higher than four. There are some doctors that recommend people do eight servings a day. It really has to do with how much water can you get into the body because you need a certain amount of water. You need 16 ounces, 16 ounces of good, clean drinking water for every 12 drops of the super silica. Sometimes I wish just that message alone 
would get through to the population just to drink enough water. <laughs> it's, yeah, it seems like yeah. that, you know, sometimes people just even avoid that simple step to good health. All right, well, time is clicking. I energy, um, like I just reordered 12 bottles from you. I absolutely love it. Um, I feel like it's, we really got to talk about this one. Um, so I don't know how it does all its magic, if you can help us understand, but my husband uses it. Customers, Bert, I have one customer. Um, she actually runs for this area of social media um, network. And so she's very popular with the mayor downtown. And she always had this bad eye, but it's nothing that the eye doctors could figure out, you know maybe an allergy, maybe not, a little weepy, but it, it was a little painful. And so I said, hey, try the eye energy. My husband's been using it. He likes it. Give it a shot. Well, just 10 days later, she's like, Joanne, it feels normal again. What is this stuff? And I'm like, well, Bert makes all these really amazing things. I can't <laughs> explain half of them, but they're really yeah. awesome. But yeah, so tell us about eye energy and how that came to be. Um, the it needed to be pre-mixed up and sold the way that it is, but it's basically getting the electricity power of cell power in a very, 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 very gentle formula to be able to be used in all the skin around the eyes to re-energize because the eyes require so much energy. It's the second highest energy drain in our body. Number one is digestion and number two is vision. So the eyes, in order to allow us to continue to see, you know, and in uh, low light or or uh, on a, a tough long day, you know, for us to continue to have our vision, it's going to use up a lot of energy, and it will pull the energy from all the skin and from the eyelids and from all the cells around the eye. The eyeball will actually pull that energy, so it leaves that area very, very low in electricity. So the eye energy drops. Um, I put uh, maybe four or five on my on each eyelid first thing in the morning and I do it again right after lunch and I go ahead and uh, allow it you know it's safe for the eye itself so I allow it to kind of run run in the eye but I um, use my fingers to gently uh, put it on all of the eye adjacent skin and around the tear ducts and everything and it raises the electricity so quickly that within two or three seconds I have more light getting to my eye because of the extra electricity from the eye energy so what I'll do is I'll put it there, allow it to, you know, do all the area around because it's a cosmetic product. And then I allow it to get in the eye. I blink a few times. And right afterwards, Joanne, it's like somebody just turned on a whole other bank of lights in my office. It has twice the amount of light getting into my eye. That's incredible. And I think, too, with everyone, you know, staring at these devices, you know, almost all day long, um, it must, it's needed so badly right now. Are you like, do you um, believe like that we need this more because all the blue light and all this technology? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I think I've told you this before, but I use the eye energy drops uh, on a, a, a topical level to help get, uh, you know, re-energize all of the area around the, uh, the eyeball. But I use our capsules called night eyes, which is for optimal night vision. I believe that that, that extremely powerful um, capsules of seven ingredients for the eyes, by using both of those together, it really helps replace all of the nutrients that are used up from the blue light. So from computer screens, there's never been a time in the history of the world where so much of the population is just on the computer all day long. Yeah, it's and crazy. In, in a lot of states, that's how kids are going to school is on their computer screen. Yep. You've got your personal device. So the eye energy is great, and but I use it together with the night eyes. I'm using uh, four capsules a day of the night eyes. Wow. Well, Bert, you definitely create amazing products, and I love that you see in daily practice how they're being utilized and all these great uh, testimonials for them. So we only have a little over a minute left. Um, so I want everyone to come in the store, um, check out. Bert has lots of amazing literature that goes with his products. He believes in education. And, Bert, can you put out there um, the website um, if they want any more information? And I have to be honest, I don't have the two dollar guides but i will call the company as soon as i get to the store and um get some to um delivered oh yeah so. yeah yeah that, that would be great um yeah the uh, the website is positive 
EmpowerNutrition.com. And uh, it's finally, uh, you know, the last time you talked about it quite a bit on the radio show, and it wasn't looking good. But right now it is really great. We're adding in, uh, a lot of information. So if they just have questions, that's a good place to go. And I love your radio awesome. show, Joanne. I oh, just thank you, Bert. I love having you on. It's so easy to talk to you. And, you know, you're, you're a big guy out there, and you definitely um, make an impact in this world. So thank you for that. And uh, I really wish your family the most beautiful time at the wedding. And thank you again, and have a great week. You've been listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition, brought to you by Nutrition World in downtown Fort Pierce. Archives of this show are on YouTube under WPSLTV.com.